<laughs> he took your ovaries? He's gonna get one of the capybaras and eat them. Bees! I'm abandoning this dog. Ain't you Nathaniel Bees? Just give it a button, but This is where the dogs have been getting out. They seem to be pretty happy now. A little bit of computer dust. What's up, guys? Today, I'm abandoning this dog at the Humane Society. That's right, I'm visiting my daughter in prison, and I'm exchanging this dog for her. What's up guys, it's me, Prison Ben. Today I'm visiting my daughter Queen in the clink because I have with me fake Queen here. This is new Queen and also fake Queen. We're at the Humane Society because my daughter got locked up for having functional uterus. That's right, it's illegal here in Waco, Texas for a dog to have functioning ovaries. So while we wait another week for a veterinarian to come by and cut her ovaries out, we're gonna be visiting Queen and giving her a little bed here. And I'm even gonna offer to trade this stupid fake Queen for her. We're gonna take her to see if she's microchipped and if she's not, we're gonna keep or give it to one of my friends that's a student that just got her own place and she wants a dog. This is the Central Texas Humane Society. As you can see, they got all kinds of dogs and cats here. We just picked her up from a neighborhood where she was just running free for a while. Apparently, she had been posted as a stray here since July. She doesn't have a chip, so. She has the same eyebrows as Queen, though. We made it, guys. Now I'm off to go visit my daughter in prison. This is where they take all the new animals to spay, neuter, and treat them for fleas and whatnot. Because they are government funded, the city law makes them neuter and spay pets on arrival. And this is what the typical conditions are for a large breed dog in an animal shelter. Someone adopt this dingus. At this point, it's been over 21 days since Queen has seen me, so she's really freaking out. And apparently, they weren't even walking her. Not to mention, she's still very emaciated and they wouldn't even let me go in there to put the bed down. Kinda cringe, TBH. What they don't know is that I put a hacksaw in there for Queen to cut her way out. And a taser for her to get past the guards. <laughs> but they're good people here, and if you can foster or adopt, you should. All right, guys, so this dog wasn't microchipped. We basically just visited my daughter in prison. Wasn't even allowed to touch her or pet or anything, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's go. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Uh, do you smell Queen on me, Pogger? Well, well. Well, well, well. Any particular reason why you're over here talking to my wife? Guys, look how much bigger Homelander is than Karen now. He's almost bigger than Kevin. Yeah, he's definitely bigger than Kevin now. Wow. These guys are all so smart and perfect. And the rain softened up their food a little tiny bit. Hey, ain't you Nathaniel B? Ain't you Nathaniel B? Oh, ain't you Nathaniel B? Ain't you Nathaniel B? What's up, guys? We're back here. Now that I'm done visiting my daughter in prison, we're going to put this deep hive body on top of the bee. Got our ducks swimming around over there. Yeah, we have a pond, Chandler's Wildlife. Is your pond emerald green? I put that food coloring in there so it would look nice and pretty because of St. Patrick's Day. As you can see, this is shale, and this is where the dogs have been getting out. Look at that. How stupid is that? I want all you guys to go to Nathan Matei from Matei Farms youtube channels videos and comment uncle ben's real mad at you because you missed this spot okay now poggers can't get through there is easy aquascape made this for us really great emerald clear style pond love you guys appreciate you thanks so much for helping this is my greenhouse take a look at it look at all the broken dreams in here guys look at all the crushed dreams there's still cracks in the ground from the drought okay i can't find the matches anywhere so i guess we can't smoke the bees <laughs> been really lazy all year guess i killed all the bees huh <laughs> uncle ben's on his villain arc now killing all of his bees they shrunk a lot in the heat okay for some reason i got a little bit of computer dust up. and uh i'm gonna use this to keep the bees away from me so i think i was supposed to paint this but i'm not sure let's go okay i'm actually terrified to do this you guys I feel like there's holes in this somewhere all right let's go as you can see this is my bee area uh, please enjoy this video of me trying to figure out how to beekeep i think i did it right uh, i'm sure 20 of you in the comments are gonna be like no uncle ben i've been a beekeeper for 35 years and you did that in the most horrendous atrocious way possible I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, how am I supposed to know any of this stuff? Now I just put this top on. We did it. We saved the day. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. They're everywhere. Ah! Now I'm going to take these pine chips, put them all over the ground as bedding. Okay, they're not happy. They're not happy one bit. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Easy peasy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take away the entrance reducer. They don't really need that entrance reducer anymore. Oh, we're getting attacked again. I did it, that was easy. And there's definitely not a lot of bees that hate me and are swarming me right now. Got the entrance reducer off. I'm gonna just put this entrance reducer here. Okay, they seem to be pretty happy now. This is why people tend to smoke them. But now they have a lot more space to make more honey for the winter. Now I'm gonna go ahead, oh goodness. Bees, bees, bees. Here, would you like some bees, poggers? Poggers, I'm coming to your location with lots of bees. 
Oh, adorable little call duck here. Have some bees. The bees are still chasing me. Oh, Kevin, I sure hope you don't chase me. It's been one day, so it's time to replace the capybara's water. Okay, now that's over with. We're gonna get one of the capybaras and eat them. I'm filling this back up. As you can see, they have infinite hay in here. Now we're gonna go ahead and fence all this in so they can eat this grass. Okay, we use the rest of the panels I have. And now this whole area is a little cappy play area. So this is how they can get their water. And I see them playing in there. They're so happy. But now they have not only all this Timothy, but also all this grass to graze on here. Look how precious they are. They really just be vibing. Perfect. All right, everybody, I'm at the Humane Society. Picking up my daughter from jail right now. She's been in jail. They had to cut her ovaries out. She was good yesterday, but she'll need a pain pill today. Okay. Look how happy she is. But that's definitely Queen. All right, Queen, come on, hop. The Queeb has returned. Cringe, uh-uh, conehead. Look how precious she is. Oh, this is totally Queen. When she sees the Pog boy, she is going to freak out. Look, guys, look. Wow. See how their tails are straight up and wagging non-stop? They took your ovaries? Little dingus walking around with a cone on her head. Okay, it's pretty clear that they like barely fed her and gave her water because she's drinking like a whole gallon right now. Also, her ribs were never showing before and now they are. She was never the picky eater. Hog boy was always the picky eater. You notice how they love each other already? They definitely remember each other. I'm gonna let her recover in here with Pog. And then when she's ready, I'm gonna go ahead and put him back outside. This queen is so much better than fake queen she do be really skinny though we're gonna have to give her a lot of fresh food i just gave her her pain meds and a ton of turkey been a long time since queen had a glizzy here you go queen you gotta eat it though don't just set it on the ground why does she do that whoa nelly all right never mind now she goes she's back there having her diarrhea right now are you happy to have your sister home my son there goes kevin yeah so queen definitely wasn't being fed the right food now she's just running around having diarrhea everywhere all right pogger let's leave her alone queen's just been running around having fun why kevin over here though okay now she got a cone on again she needs to keep that on for at least a week to two weeks meanwhile kevin's over here attacking this thing again just like the good old days kevin really is a cringe ah uh ah -uh, nay nay boy one thing that's cute though is that i can just kind of kiss him on the head and he doesn't even care look there, yeah, I got him off. Look how mad he is. Wow. Cringe. These two guys here share the same little trough. It's really cute. They're both really cringe, though. It's officially time to let these boys free. Come on, guys. Let's go. I'm going to lead them over to the pond. These fellas are getting nice and juicy. Cringe. <laughs> Oh, good morning. Good morning. Look how happy Queen is to be whole. As you guys can see, my pond is now full. This is how it always is. This is where my baby ducks live, as you can see. And it's chock full of fish. What do you think of Lake Poggers? Now it's full enough for all the ducks to enjoy, but we do need a filter. A quick queep, queep. Oh, it's not St. Patrick's Day anymore, so I changed the style from emerald green to brown. The other duck is in the woods somewhere laying on some eggs. Pogger, get out of there. As you can see, she is very, very happy to be home. She keeps taking her little cone off, so I have to keep putting it on. Don't mind if I do. What's in there? I might just have to cut these open and see. I grabbed this, and then she just ran under the house. This little fella just trying to climb my leg. Oh, cringe. Where are you? They made all kinds of little tunnel systems in here. Very is climbing up the side also i'm filling up their water because it got nasty after just a day and the second i put fresh water in there they just freak out you see how he's already pooping in there it says oh fresh pool to poop in don't mind if i do i am so glad that i put this hose here you guys okay guys that's it love you appreciate you look how much he's been pooping the second i clean it out he's like oh time to make 50 poop come on queep i got a glizzy you gotta come in gotta come in for it come on <laughs> trapped you oh but she's been good so i'll give her a little glizzy and maybe another one to help her fatten up. Also, it's starting to get dry again, so I'm gonna let the baby out. Whoa, is that hit rapper and artist, the baby? So you've been pooping a lot there, sir. You've been pooping on the ground there. Whoa. As you can see, the baby has gotten much, much bigger. Because I've been putting him in here on the good food. And now he's starting to get nice and chonky. And a bit thick, if I do say so myself. But these guys are the best of friends. That's the baby update for now. I'm gonna go ahead and let him just kind of hop around the whole property again. But sadly, I do think we're gonna go into another little mini drought again for the next couple weeks oh boy here's kevin again trying to kill me for no apparent reason in my own backyard things really don't change <laughs> well from all of us here at the urban rescue ranch uh